Yeah, it's sleeping outside. Amazing how it changes. It was actually quite a pleasant evening earlier on. But... Hi everybody. I'm back out. Been a while, a couple of weeks at least. I'm on the I'm about to join the West Highland Way from uh, between Balmaha and Drimmon and I don't know if you can see it but Loch Lomond is in the background there and Conic Hill off to my left Anyway, I'm just out for a quick overnight again and it's a chance to try a new bit of kit so that was my main excuse to be honest and my wife's away for a few days so it's nice just to get the freedom to do your own thing well, I headed out here yesterday the weather was hellish just really bad flash flooding so I've come back again today at a second attempt and uh, hoping it'll be a wee bit nicer tonight though it's a lot colder much more of a northerly show you the skies actually I don't know if you can see it but yeah much uh, much chillier direction anyway let's see how this wee adventure goes I've really done a lot of excavation up here recently this used to be just wooded and untouched not quite sure what's going on, but it's pretty major. This is where I would normally park, but it's completely been decimated, deforested, and a lot of excavation work going on along the tracks. So, don't know what's getting in here, but it's uh, totally changed the outlook. Anyway, I'm going to head further up the woods and along the West Highland Way. What a different place! This was all deep forest here, and it now just looks completely decimated. I'm not sure if it's related to the storms we had. Uh, a few months ago in the winter but it is so bare and they just seem to be clearing everything and chopping it out it's taken me back a wee bit because it used to be a really nice wee stretch with campsites left and right and a meandering path that went up and down and now it's just a giant vehicle track bulldozed straight through I'm hoping as I yomp ahead here that it'll still have some of its character and some of the wee spots it used to have because that's where I was thinking of staying if not I'll have to push on about another Half an hour to an hour, I guess. Just after I said that, it goes back to its old narrow ways again. Good. Somebody's discreetly tucked away in the woods in there. Not bad. Somewhere around here would be alright, actually. I'll have a wee look. This was a spot in one of my previous videos, just pre-lockdown, literally at the start. Stayed here in a black diamond first light. Some of you might know the video. I'll put a wee link up above. This is a possibility here, but I'm not. I'm about 100 yards away from the other tent. However, this is quite a nice wee spot here. And I've got a partial view of the loch. Just over there. We'll pop on up and just see if there's anything else. So it's only early April. The West Island Way is looking quite busy already. Quite a number of wee spots taken up with tents. So I'm doubling back a bit to possibly that one we saw earlier on or my original one on the left, which is a wee bit exposed to the track, but it's okay. I'll choose one of those and we'll get set up. So the adapters just go onto these handles and you just put the velcro straps through and then secure them. There's two on each handle. So it comes with six V-pegs but I've added another wee titanium one for the tail, an extra guy line and I've added pullers to all the pegs because it doesn't come with them and they're a wee bit of a pain to get out. So there you go, the Black Diamond Distance Tent is the one I'm using tonight for solo use, but it's actually a two-person allegedly. 
Anyway, there's a big shower coming, so I may have just put this up in the nick of time. I'm going to get in. Unfortunately, the big vent is facing the wind and the rain, and I'm just hoping it won't leak because it's not very, uh, it's not very well covered, as you'll see. having to bring your pack in with you because there's obviously no vestibule which makes cooking a bit of a challenge if the weather's bad anyway I'm going to get unpacked and get everything sorted in here there is plenty of room but I'll just get inside get these boots in as well keep them dry quite windy You can hear the rain coming on now. Pop the boots down the bottom, we'll get the mat sorted out, etc. We've got a rain on already, so better to be under cover, but I'm trying to try and keep the vents open as much as I can because it has a reputation for being a condensation fest in here. I've got a few storage bags we can use just to keep things a bit more organised in here because it isn't a vestibule so it's all in for a lot of stuff outside we've got the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite with me tonight just try to save a few grams, test it out as if it was in the summer well it's anything but summery so I've basically got everything down the left hand side and I'll sleep to the other side, towards the door. Right, I'll go and take the opportunity while it's dry just now to go and get some water for cooking up dinner. It's just about six o'clock and it's dried up temporarily, which is good. It looks like there's another hefty shower coming through. I've just been talking to my German neighbours. Really nice. But uh, they camped really early because it was sleeting all day, snowing. So they said they couldn't. They had to get stopped and dry out. Yeah, it's sleeting outside. Amazing how it changes. It was actually quite a pleasant evening earlier on. But sure as hell, just as the, the German folk said. Sleeting snow. Hopefully that'll pass because I'm, uh, the main vent is straight into the wind which other people on the internet have said that rain can come through this vent because the cowl is not particularly deep and I can see spots of water on the mesh already so I'm hoping it'll be alright I might even take to gaffer taping down the wire in it just to close it off for a while if it gets bad don't fancy having to re-pitch can you actually believe I'm going to have to cook in the in the sleet and the snow on the ground? <laughs> okay, it's not much, but it, just the contrast is crazy. Right, we're going to have to have double helpings of couscous tonight, just to stay warm, and some chicken. It's really cold now. The snow's not melting, it's just kind of uh, freezing over.
So it was a sub-zero night last night, so I'm pleased to report there is no condensation that has dripped into the inner. I had a nice dry night. Anything that was condensed was frozen and is now just beginning to thaw. Okay, time to go folks. Leave no trace as always. And it's back to work. So, thanks again for watching. See you for the next one.